<laughs> oh, we got a sleeping mango. Mango, mango, the lights are turning on. It's time to wake up. It's time to wake up, my handsome baby. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Hmm? Oh, handsome boy. Oh, you, y'all. Yeah, you're a good baby. Good morning. What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to TWR. My name is Tavian. This is my world of reptiles. I hope you are all doing awesome and taking care of yourselves. And tell me, was that not just an awesome little clip of uh, Kiara just doing her hunt, doing her naturalist behavior, hunting down some crickets? That is so cute and so cool. And I remember I did the same thing with Sarabi a while back, uh, and I loved watching her to feed too. And so it's really awesome for me to uh, got to, to capture that and to have been able to share that with you. Now, for those of you who are like like, who's, who's Kiara? I don't really know who that is, where that creature came from. When did you get that creature? Well, that means you did not finish making it all the way through the video about the rehoming remorse. So you should probably go back and finish that, and you can learn a little bit more about who Kiara is and where she came from. So if you don't know who that is, go finish that. Uh, but yeah, Kiara is here, and she's doing great. As you can see, she's eating. And I'm always super impressed by just how uh, how well-adjusted these guys are. The last one I had was a wild-caught two, and obviously had adjusted just fine to captive life. And I know that that can be a really difficult and complicated transition for a lot of different animals for various different reasons and the stress uh, to the just lack of being able to actually mimic their be era of natural environments to just whatever reasons and they just don't take very well uh, to captivity um, and so but this last one last alligator lizard I had did and this girl seems to be doing as well she's been eating she's doing great I'm sure it was probably confusing for her to be like oh shoot I'm supposed to be like hibernating but I'm stuck in this tree and I haven't gotten myself anywhere to hibernate yet and then like thinking oh, she's probably not going to make it through the winter and then being and all of a sudden it's getting warm again and all of a sudden it's very warm again and all of a sudden it's not getting winter again and it's probably very confusing her with the co with the way the seasons probably were working for her before and now she's just like in a warm space that it's just constantly just at a reasonable temp um and I think that's probably been a little bit confusing for her but she is obviously adjusted just fine she's eating she moves around she still endures me handling her uh she's gotten a little bit more active so definitely have to do a little bit more taste down when I get her, which is totally expected for a wild-caught animal. I expected that calmer behavior of just like that initial coldness shock to just kind of wear off and she'd get back to good old wild nature, be, uh, wild animal behaviors, which she is, but she's still not very feisty and she's still really doing good. So anyway, I'm just, I'm super excited to have her here. But also, let me grab this camera and show you something that I did. I'm sure you can already see it, but I want to get close.
closer so that I can just talk a little bit more about that in depth. Hold on. Okay, so remember I said that I wanted to fix the background on the enclosure. I did have that darker one that was on there, but it was, like, only when it, was like, came up to, like, here. So there was, like, a hole, like, two inches on the top that was just not exposed. And then, like, on one side, it was, like, only a half. It was a mess, and it needed to be replaced. Well, I finally did it, and I had the opportunity to get that same darker wood. But after really seeing the way the Zen habitats look with their lighter wood and really just liking how bright that looks and just how open and, like, just... How just how much more how much more I enjoy that lighter wood look. I did decide to go with the stick on stuff that is actually also a lighter wood to kind of give off that same vibe. And I actually really enjoy it. However, I didn't think before I put it on and I see now that I've covered up those stickers there. And that's gonna drive me absolutely bonkers. So I'm gonna have to take that back off a little later, scrape that off with a razor blade, and then put it back in place because that's gonna drive me nuts. But otherwise, I really do like the just light wood background here yes this is a glass tank but it's kind of got just the wood vibe and it's good and i'm liking it and i'm probably going to do something similar to this to some of my other enclosures like uh my columbian rainbow boa enclosure or uh, my corn snake enclosures that are both currently in glass tanks and so because i just i like the way the wood background looks and even though i'm keeping it in a glass tank i can still get that kind of wood naturalistic look to it and so i'm just i'm vibing it and so i'm probably going to do that with future uh enclosures as well but yeah, the, the the lighter look to it. Thank you to the Zen Habitats for that just like inspiration to move out of that just like dark wood or dark enclosure mentality. I like the brightness of it um, and I'm really digging it a lot. All right, and so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited the way that looks and how that turned out, and it's looking awesome. Now, something else I had uh, decided to go ahead and look more into this time around than I did the last time with Sarabi is when I had Sarabi, I wasn't 100% sure whether I had uh, a northern or southern alligator lizard, um, and I never really dug too deeply into it. I just kind of enjoyed keeping her um, and generally, you know, enjoying her presence and all that, and I just, I just didn't dive deep uh, into looking into that. But this time around, I really just kind of wanted to look a little bit deeper into like really knowing what the differences are and if you can actually tell the difference. I'm sorry I keep rubbing my face. It's just like, oh, I think it's actually well, not just something white on my face. Okay, so anyway, uh, I really want to know like, you know, how can you identify the differences between a southern and northern alligator lizard? Now, there are various different ambro ambroni ambronias out there. So I'm sorry, words. Uh, but uh, some of them are, but the rest of them are usually pretty obvious as to what they are. You got like the Mexican alligator lizards, which are like beautiful and bright and green, you know, and then there are some other like uh, alligator lizards, but they're, they're very obvious when you see them. They're like, okay, that's that. Like they don't have anything that looks super similar to it. But the sword, the southern and the northern alligator lizards look very closely alike uh, and people often confuse it to us. So I really wanted to know how do I identify which of these animals do I actually have? Um, and uh, there were multiple different sources that I looked at. Um, and so there are two things that I was saying that you can tell. One of them is a little, you know, more like you can look at it right off the bat, identify that as what it is. And then the other one has to be a little bit more invasive. Now, the first one is what I've already done. Um, now, apparently, we've got the southern alligator lizards. They have to tend to have, like, darker eyes. Um, and the northern alligator lizards tend to have, like, brighter colored eyes, like yellows and brighter, just brighter colors, as opposed to the darker colors. And so when you look at this alligator lizard, and if I were to look at Sarabi as well, when I look at pictures of her in the past, they both have the bright yellow eyes or the brighter colored eyes uh, uh, and so that off the bat is just like oh, okay well then you are northern alligator lizards so that's what that was um and as well as the fact that um we are very close to california um and there's not a whole lot of uh southern of uh, southern alligator lizards that reach into our range i mean the northern alligator lizards that reach down into our range they kind of stay in the upper part of that so they're not really gonna we're not really going to see a lot of those and so that's so, you know, just knowing the general area, like if you were to find one, knowing the general area as to where you found it at can be super helpful in identifying uh, which one you particularly have. But also those eyes, you know, the northerns have brighter eyes, the southerns have darker eyes. Another way that you can tell uh, is, like I said, a bit more invasive. Um, but if you were to look at their belly scales, the southern alligator lizards tend to have a dark marking or line or pattern that goes 
through the center of their belly scales like this. And the northern alligator lizards tend to have a line or dark marking that goes kind of across the length of their uh, scales like this. So if you really don't really know, if you're not really sure, even if you're just looking in the eyes, which in my experience, it seems pretty obvious when I look up the pictures. Uh, you know, these are the examples that you see for the southern alligator lizard eyes. These are the examples that you see for the northern alligator lizard eyes. It becomes pretty obvious that you can like really see the difference when you look at that. But if you certainly can't, then that is another way of just look, identifying them by looking at their belly scales. Uh, and that's the subtle differences uh, between the southern and northern alligator lizards. Um, and so, yeah, if you ever find yourself having one of those and are wondering, well, how do I identify what this is? If it's not one of those very obvious, like... That's, that's, I mean, this is the only place that it could be. And, you know, there are some that are very specifically located in very specific areas. And so if you find it, you know that's all it is. Like, there's no confusion of the two. Uh, but with here, you know, they can, they're, they're very close together in their habitats. And they can kind of cross over in some areas. And so, and they just, they're, they're very close in appearance. And so that can be a little bit more difficult. Uh, but, uh, yeah. So that was really fun to kind of dive into and to look a little bit more into. And, like, I have not lifted up the belly of this girl yet i'm just still trying to let her be here and exist without too much invasive inclusion so i just i looked at her eyes was like okay you've got bright colored eyes you are definitely a northern alligator lizard and so was sarabi when i look at that guy pictures of her but i'm not gonna waste my time lifting up her belly and everything right now uh maybe the next time i am handling i will do it confirmed like Kind of a glance at that, but I'm not gonna just go in there just to just to just to confirm that after a little bit of research. Um, I'm just going. I can I can tell looking at her eyes, looking at the pictures between the two different species on YouTube. I mean on Google that this is a northern alligator lizard, and so was Sarabi. I'm not surprised. I imagine that anything we can find around here would all be a northern alligator lizard. So. Yeah, that's all that is. So, um, uh, yeah, you know, I don't think I know, I don't think I really have anything more to say. I just, I enjoyed doing that research and I enjoyed getting that all set up and doing all that. So, uh, you know, and, uh, and going about that. So I just wanted to kind of chat about that today. It is uh Saturday and so I'm not going to do anything like going anything. I'm going to relax this Saturday and chill out and relax and enjoy my life. You know what I'm saying? I work all week and I'm tired. So uh, I'm just going to chill out now. I'm just going to chill out. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I just, you know, picked the camera up and rambled about something. Uh, and this is one of the most current somethings happening uh, in my life right now. So uh, anyway, wrapping this up, you all take care. You love yourselves. Love your loved ones. Love your rep. Wow. Take care of yourselves. Love your loved ones. Love your reptiles. You all keep spreading those herbs.